Coming up, we're going to get into Anthony Davis returning to the Lakers lineup after being out for around two months. But first, we here at Chat Sports have to do our duty and let you know that the Lakers Report is a real YouTube channel. We're not catfishing you all. This is actually a real YouTube channel. And yes, I understand my name is Chase Sr. and some people out there think it is a fake name. But number one, I am a real person. And number two, I'm not catfishing you either. And before we get started, we just got to pour one out for Vivian for one of the most bizarre and weird stories that we have seen in recent time. Right up there with Manti Teo. Laker Nation, what'd you think about that Lakers catfish story? Did you think it was weird? Get into the comments, type doe for dub Type W for weird or type O for odd, but let's pour one out for Vivian. And let's get started here on the Lakers report. <laughs> Welcome into the Lakers report. I am your host, Chase Sr. And Anthony Davis at last is going to return to the Lakers lineup. And it's about time because the Lakers have certainly missed him. They went 14 and 16 without him on the floor. But when you just watch this team, you've noticed that there has been a huge void there because Anthony Davis is a superstar and a generational talent. According to Anthony Davis, he broke his own news in telling reporters that he is going to return on Thursday night against the Dallas Mavericks. Hasn't played since February 14th, and he is going to be on a minutes restriction. According to Lakers coach Frank Vogel, He's going to be in that 15-minute range. That's something that I had expected to happen because you can't just expect him to get back on the floor and play around 30 minutes. And the Lakers have fared pretty well without AD, 14 and 16. So I want to pose this question to Laker Nation. A lot of people thought that the Lakers were going to go in the tank without AD, without LeBron, without Anthony Davis. Do you think that they fared better or worse than you thought they were originally going to when he did suffer that injury. I'm going to type B for better because I actually thought that the Lakers showed some flashes. And I think they've built some character as we approach the playoffs because they really had to get through some difficult times. Speaking of difficult times, that's what Anthony Davis had to endure. He spoke with the media about his injury and said, quote, I never tore an Achilles, but I kind of felt like sharp pain, like it was ripping, which I had never felt before. So I knew it was something serious. It wasn't as serious as it could have been, but it was still a pretty significant injury. I think AD and the Lakers really averted disaster. Can you imagine what would have happened and what the reaction would have been if AD possibly tore his Achilles in Kevin Durant-like fashion? That would have been a disastrous scenario for the Lakers. Luckily, he milked it. He got better, he took his time, and he is going to help this team in the stretch run with the playoffs about a month away. And I'm glad that the Lakers afforded AD just some time to get right and get healthy because this injury is no joke. Anytime you're messing with a calf strain or something going on in the Achilles, that can lead to something far worse, possibly a 12-month Achilles tear recovery. And in terms of AD getting back on the floor and what he does for this team, gives Frank Vogel a bunch of offensive versatility. He can play with his back to the basket. He can square up at the elbow or down low. He can play down low or outside, stretching the floor as well as a four or a five. And AD is a phenomenal defensive player. The Lakers defensive rating with him on the floor, number one in the NBA. And with AD coming back, it kind of slides everybody down a notch and helps the Lakers depth immensely. And if the Lakers are getting playoff AD that we saw last year, that force in the NBA playoffs that helped the Lakers win their 17th championship, the Lakers are going to be a problem. I want you to help us solve an office debate that we've had here at Chat Sports because the other day on the Lakers report, I had said that AD is a borderline top 10 player. Now I said that basing that on this year alone because he hasn't been available for the Lakers and throughout his career, he's been off injured a little bit and some people were fired up in the comments, rightfully so, I can take the heat. So let me know, is Anthony Davis a top five player or a top 10 player? Type T5 for top five, type T10 for top 10. There's no doubt this guy is a generational talent and when he's right, certainly capable of being a top five guy. This is why. His numbers this year compared to last year before he got hurt, they were down a little bit, but still all NBA caliber. 22.5 points per game, 8.5 rebounds, shooting north of 
And I'll tell you what, I am really excited about the prospects of this Lakers team when they are healthy, making a run at a second consecutive NBA championship, because I think this starting five that we're popping up on your screen right now, one of the best in the NBA. And the bench now becomes one of the deepest benches in the NBA as well. Dennis Schroeder, LeBron, Andre Drummond, Anthony Davis, and Contavious Caldwell-Pope. Not only can they kind of kill you in a variety of ways offensively, I think this team is tough. I think they're rugged. I think they have a bunch of bulldogs. And when it comes to playoff basketball, when the game slows down a little bit, they're going to get in your grill defensively. Rate the Lakers starting five for me when healthy. Scale it from 1 to 10 in the comments right now. 1 being they're not very good, 10 being they're very good. I'm going to go eight and a half, nine on this one. Today's show is brought to you by our friends at Newsbreak. So in the summer of 2014, I spent the summer in Los Angeles, best summer of my life. We were in Burbank right outside of Hollywood, and it was a boatload of fun. And when I was there, I wish I had the Newsbreak app on my phone. Go to chatsports.com slash LakersNB, download the Newsbreak app to see what I'm talking about. Because on one single feed, you get your local news and weather, politics, pop culture, and food, as well as all of your sports and entertainment content. The cool thing is, if you enter your zip code in there, it's an awesome function where everything is localized from all of your local news sources. So if you're living in Los Angeles, Malibu, Redondo Beach, Orange County, just put in your zip code and everything that's happening in your neighborhood, you'll be updated. All also, while you're on the Newsbreak app at chatsports.com slash LakersNB, give the Lakers report a follow. All of the latest Lakers news and rumors coming at you on the Newsbreak app as well. When Anthony Davis and the news comes out that he's coming back to the Lakers lineup, we'll let you know about it. So follow the Lakers report on the Newsbreak app today. I'll put that link in the description as well. Let's get to the latest injury news on LeBron James. Frank Vogel and talking to reporters, updating them on the status of Anthony Davis and him returning to the lineup against the Dallas Mavericks said that there's still no timetable for LeBron James's return. LeBron hasn't played since March 20th because of that high right ankle sprain that he suffered against the Atlanta Hawks when Solomon Hill fell into him. And he has missed now the last 16 games. Now, the Lakers without AD, 14 and 16, not as good as having LeBron James in the lineup. They fared okay without him in the lineup, but still, he is the king. He is built different. He is one of one. And anytime you're without one of the best players in NBA history, your production is going to fall off. Here's what AD had to say about the Lakers surviving without LeBron, with AD going into the starting five. Quote, it's going to be my job to try to help the team stay afloat when he comes back as well as and stay fighting, but this team has done more than we can ask for. The fact that LeBron is 36 years old, the bionic man that he is, entered the league in 2003 and is still putting up these numbers, absolutely filthy and somewhat unfathomable. The guy is just ridiculous. And when he comes back, there's no doubt, in my opinion, he's going to continue to put up these numbers, and I think he's going to help lead the Lakers possibly back to another NBA championship. My gosh, what a career he is having, and the Lakers are happy to have him. So tell me, Laker Nation, can the Lakers win a championship if they're healthy with LeBron and AD back on the floor and this roster at 100% health? Get into the comments and let me know.